everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh, I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today, um, hold on, let me get out of the way. Get, come on, Nick Fury, relax. Uh, today, we're going to be fighting, a <laughs> today we're going to be fighting the Wither. That's right, it's going to be amazing. We're going to fight the Wither in the void while flying with Elytra and a limit of only 10 rockets. Let's go. Not even the Iron Golem believes me for that one. Nah, we're just gonna do it on the ground. I'm not that crazy. I don't want to lose my world completely and end this whole series right now. We got too many things to do. Also, a lot of people were worried that I would never wear my uh, netherite uh, chest plate again. I'm always gonna be with my elytra and I'm gonna get killed because of it. So you know what? For those people, uh, you're all right to be scared. I was kind of scared too. So we're gonna be wearing this more often, okay? But don't you worry. I got my elytra on me at all times. So we can go flying whenever we want to. Like right now. I named my beautiful water chicken over here. Thank you for all the amazing names suggestions but i had to go with this one that looked like there were sharks down there for a second i was a little spooked i was like when did they add that to minecraft they actually should though that'd be kind of scary but i named this beautiful chicken patito <laughs> it is duck or little duck in spanish that is perfect aka water chicken hi little duck you're cute. But also in this episode, the day is finally here. I'm going to clear all these trees and we're going to start up on our iron farm and working on that volcano. I was able to collect a bunch of stone from the stone generator last episode. So I think we are good to go. Oh my God, I almost hit that tree in the face. Oh, the tree doesn't have a face. I mean, I hit my face uh, with the tree. What? Nightmare fuel! God, that was scary. Please never do that again. Stop closing your eyes. Ah, Minecraft sunset. So, so nice. Let's watch it together. It's one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is watch sunset. Chipmunk sausage is real. <laughs> How nice! Now, right here in this little white shulker box includes all of the things we're going to be needing to fight this wither, survive, do the best we can, and just be just great at doing stuff. Um, that's it. That's all I got. I got the wither skeleton skulls. I got the soul sand. I got some milk to get wither the withering effect, and I got some golden apples. I could go crazy and get some more stuff like strength potions and all kinds of crazy stuff. But you know what? Something else that is very, very needed uh, is uh, what the zombie has in their hand. I need some eggs. That's right. Can I have some more of that? Oh, over here? Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Times are rough right now. Um, he's basically helping out uh, with uh, the barn over here, okay? It's fine. Uh, right here. Perfect. Give me all those eggs. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. So, this is how I make some wither roses. That's right. You throw some eggs down. You make some chickens hatch. The wither shoots the chickens in the face. I get beautiful uh, yet deadly wither roses. So, that's something that uh, we're going to do right now. And uh, can we get a preemptive F in the chat for the, the chickens that are about to meet their doom? But we're not going to fight that wither here. Oh, no, no, no. We got too many important things down below. Especially from the last episode when we made the super smelter and all the cool stuff. Hi, Bob. Hi, I'm sorry to ignore you. Um, how are you doing today? Good? Good day? You having a nice time? We also, You want some tuna or fish or something? Yes? You keep saying yes? Okay, I'll bring you back some tuna fish after the wither. Okay, but you know what? I'm going to be fighting that wither down below, underground, in our strip mine, in the western town of Spider Canyon. That's where we're going right now, but before we even get over there, let me tell you something. I love your face. Thank you so much for all the love and support on the series, and you know what? Something that we haven't done in a couple episodes. I, I don't know how long it's been. Maybe 10 episodes, and I said I was going to do it more often. I want to do another little Q&A, so do this hashtag q a put it in the comment section send me your questions i'm gonna pick maybe like 10 of them and in the next episode i'll go ahead and answer them while we do some nether right hunting well angel debris hunting for nether right because i would like all my tools to be nether right since we got all of our gear nether right it out I want some tools, netherite, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next episode. I'm gonna answer your questions then. So send me questions. So let's head over to Spider Canyon and do some wither battling with our brand new sword named from you guys. Check this out. Bam! Power of Gray Skull. Come on, that is so cool, awesome, beautiful. He-Man reference. Plus, we're technically destroying skulls that are kind of gray, kind of black, kind of dark gray, blackish. It's fine. I love that sword name. It's so good. And who named it? Let me check. Oh, that was my friend Sandy. Sandy, good job. That was an amazing name. Thank you so much. <laughs> we had so many good ones too, but that one just stood out, man. He, man, is the best. Now I'm going to go the, the quick way down right here. Oh, baby. Hey, what's up, villager? How you doing? Ow, that hurt a little bit. Hey, villager, would you like to come down and see me fight a wither? 
I'm gonna go downstairs and check this out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I promise. No? Yes? Okay. I guess I'll tell you about it later when we get back. All right. Let's. Oh no! Don't fly down. Don't fly. Stop. Stop. This could be a little dangerous. All right. So time to undress. Let's go ahead and replace that. Perfect. We got the cloud surfer there. Uh, let's get our stuff out that we need. Um. I don't think I'm gonna be finding the wither this direction. I might come explore that later though. I'll remember it's there. Oops. Let's pick a different side. But this way. All right, I think this is a good ways away. We should be pretty safe here. So what I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to open up a little bit right over here. Hopefully my pickaxe doesn't break while I'm doing this. Please, please, please pickaxe. So just a little bit of a chamber here. So I can go ahead and put all of these uh, chickens down here. Uh, and let me actually close this off first for a second so we can get all the chickens in place. Rise, my chicken army. Thank you so much for being here today. Your general, Sir Carlos, ordered you here. And if you're going to be mad at somebody, you'll be mad at him, okay? Don't be mad at me. All right, I'm just going to help you out. I'm going to try to beat this with as quickly as possible. But I'd like to let you know something. I'm going to be very serious right now. A lot of you are not going to make it out of here alive, okay? I'm just letting you know right now. I apologize, but the ones who do will become legends, okay? You will never be forgotten. Everybody in the chat right now is like, hashtag chicken army, and they're gonna let you know how much they mean uh, to you, or you mean to them, or whatever it is. Either way, thank you so much for your service, okay? I appreciate every single one of you. I'll let you know right now, those Wither Roses will not be in vain, okay? I'm gonna do a lot of cool stuff with them in your honor, okay? Thank you so much. So let me go ahead and dig out a little bit over here. Uh, and it's time to uh, bring the Wither out. Okay, uh, don't be scared, all right? Don't be scared. Oh, that was so simple. I should have got an advancement for that one. All right, let's let's check out the uh, the casualties of war over here. How many wither uh, roses did I get? Oh man. All right. Uh, is all the chickens gone? Oof. Um, not even one survived this. But we only got ten wither roses though. We got the nether star. We got the wither roses. So easy. Come on, man. No chickens survived this. There's no chickens to tell the tale. Oh, it's so sad. Let's check down the hall. Maybe one survived. Oh, we got a survivor. We got the lone survivor. Oh, man. You made it. Oh, we're going to tell tales of you, my friend. Somebody name this lone chicken in the comments. Oh, God, this is a scary noise. I got you, my friend. I'll bring some seeds. I'll take you back home. Come on down, my friend. Look at those little feet. You deserve the best. I'm going to give you the best room in the inn, okay? Come with me. I got you, you cute little thing. Any day now. Out of the way, guys. We've got a war hero coming through. Come on down, friend. Let's get out of here. Hey, everybody. This is a war chicken. Say hi to war chicken. I wish I could put a medal on you. Let's go on up. Hi, friends. Check this out. This is war War chicken, war chicken, everybody, jalapeno, look, we got a war hero, made it down alive, look at this, yes, cool, can we uh, deputize them too, yes, honorary deputy war chicken, come with me, I'm gonna take deputy chorizo's job, come on down, well, you get the rest though, okay, let me give you a nice spot to sleep, you know what, I'll give you my room, okay, come with me, you get to stay here for free, okay, you don't have to pay a cent, this is just for you, come on down, come on in, Excuse me, guys. Um, this is War Chicken's uh, private suite. Oh, or this one. This is War Chicken's private suite. Come on in. You can write your memoirs right here. Come on in. Yes. Enjoy, okay? This will be your suite. Nobody's going to take it, okay? Chill right here. Relax. I know, I, you, I know you've had a long day, all right? So I'll see you soon, and I'll check back on you later. Don't go in there. I'm watching you. Now to fly back home and see if I can make this beacon a thing, man. Oh, you know what? I just noticed something. I don't have enough iron to make that beacon, but you know what I do have? A bunch of emeralds. All right, let's do it. Bam, beacon acquired. Oh, so good. Uh, let's go see if we can find ourselves some emeralds now. Oh, I forgot to clean this thing up. Eh, I might need it later. I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, there it is. Okay, I got a bunch of emeralds here. So I'm going to need, what, two stacks and a half? A stack? Uh, I think that'll be fine, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, there it goes. 
Okay, we got a stack and four. Let's convert these bad boys so far. Okay, you were almost there, right? Uh, Slime Cat, what's up, Ariel? All right, I know I have a bunch over here in the pumpkin and melon farm area. Oof, okay, that's good. That's okay, Two, almost two stacks. All right, not bad now. Our total is almost two stacks. Okay, uh, I can just keep grinding that later on. That's fine. Hi, Slimy, how you doing? Yeah, I got Slimy out of the boat and finally name tagged him. They're just hanging out here with pants. Pancake and waffles. How you doing? Cute. You know what? I'm gonna get the stone seeker right here because, uh, yeah, this one's about to die. So for now, you know what? I'm just gonna put it over here. Once we get all of the emeralds that we need, I'll go ahead and set something up. Uh, we do have some more iron. I bet I can mix in the gold. Technically, I have a lot of gold, though. I can mix gold, emerald, and iron and make it all look weird, but I just want it all emerald. I think it's gonna look the nicest, but I'll take care of that later because for right now, it is time. I'm gonna start clearing all of these trees up and then we'll begin our iron farming. So I do have all the materials I need right here. I'm going to be using my friend Logical Geek Boy's design. I did it in my last season's world. And it's so easy to do. It's so simple. And it does amazing work. The rates are intense. So, uh, yeah. Let's start uh, clearing some trees out. And we'll start building uh, that bad boy right in here. Um, well, out here. From in there. You know what I mean? Right when I finish clearing out all the trees, th that's why you're showing up. Why don't you come next time with an X or something and have these guys start kicking some trees down and help me out? Uh-huh, what do you have? All right, now next up, I'm gonna build that iron farm. I gotta uh, maybe clear this part out of any of these torches because we're gonna need a zombie uh, to spawn. Uh, we're gonna have to put him in a little chamber. It's gonna be a lot of fun. farm is complete and it's just that easy it really isn't that bad it's not that hard at all if you guys are scared to make iron farms don't this really took no time at all follow my boy logical geek boys tutorial again it's always in the description if you guys want to go ahead and build it but this is awesome i technically didn't need to do both of them uh i could just have done just one pod but you know what i had to do both it really isn't that bad uh, i don't need to put these trapdoors there but i put it anyways because it looks cool uh but now it's the hard part um villagers yo patito what's up como estas that's my boy all right my friend it is time i got this one this guy's ready to go this is my army of iron men right here except for this one i don't know what you're doing in here please get out uh so you know what? i want to actually take this one first this looks like a fun time let's go Whee! that was fun should name all these guys after Iron Man suits. So this is like the Mark 7 or something. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I just don't have enough name tags for all that, but uh, that's fine. Come on in, friend. This direction. Nope, not that direction. This direction. Come on in. Look at this. Plenty of space. Don't. Are you serious right now? I hate villagers. There is nowhere for you to go but in here, okay? All right. Deal? Okay, deal. Let's go. This way. Come, move it. Oh God, it's almost nighttime. Oh, God. do I? Don't you dare drown! Don't you dare drown! Don't you dare drown! Go, get in, man. It's the worst. No, please, please, just. How hard is it to just get over there? Thank you. I hate this. I truly do hate this. It's the worst. You are the worst. The worst. Yay! Yes, get on up there, you crazy boy. Now I just have to do that uh, a bunch more times. I just noticed something, mistakes were made. Um, I need to dig down at least three more layers because right now these guys are spawning on the outside and that's my bad because I uh, I messed up, <laughs> that's fine. I have to make sure there's eight blocks of separation on all sides, bottom, top, side, everything uh, from the villagers. Can you die already? Thank you. So um, that means 
I gotta uh, clear this little mound thing, okay? So, uh, yeah, they're spawning on the outside. There it is! It's working! Our first victim right there! Oh, there it is, baby! Come on now! Yes! Alright, now I wanna see this one work, please! I only saw this one, alright. Uh, so far we got it all cleared out. I went one lower, just in case, so now it's nine. Uh, but it's, it really only needs to be eight. Uh, spacer from um, right here from the line where the villager bed is all the way down to the bottom But I have it nine just in case uh, and I think it's uh, yeah, I think we got it man This was awesome now uh, we need to build a volcano. Oh, man, this is gonna be crazy. Um, the only thing I gotta be sure is that we can't have uh, any blocks. Eight uh, from this section going that way. Eight blocks from this section going that way. And there it is. It's working. Oh, man. Man, we're gonna get a lot of iron. I can't wait. Uh, and then also eight blocks going down. So we can't have anything in either direction. Uh, eight blocks. So... Uh, we can start, I guess this will be the center point uh, of the volcano now. Uh, and then I'll start uh, just outlining this in, uh, I guess, some stone. Let me go get all our stone, though. Um, this is my first time really building any kind of thing like this. So uh, wish me luck. Just like I said, I wasn't a boat builder. I built a couple cool things, right? Uh, let's see how I do. Uh, definitely going to get inspiration from my friend Fwip, who's built so many mountains. And it's not going to be anything close to that. But at least the technique uh, I think I'm going to use. Pretty much just finding a spot and just going up with a nice little zigzagging uh, rotating pattern uh, with uh, with the stone. And we'll meet up in the center bit, uh, make a little volcano-ish thing there. I think I'm gonna make a dormant, okay? So I don't want lava coming down here because I am gonna be putting some uh, pacified pillagers in here, maybe a couple villagers walking around. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But for right now, uh, let's just see if we can get a rough shape uh, how we want this thing. Do you guys think not bad for my first time ever doing any kind of mountain or anything like that, right? Is that kind of cool? Let's get a little bit of a of a flyby. Let's check out all the angles. Okay, that looks nice. Let's check this side. Yep, this side actually is one of my favorite sides because you see uh, the other island over there in the background from this corner as well. Look at that. Oh man, that's looking good. Right now, it's it's very basic though because we just have stone and we just have some grass and some dirt. Now, it's the fun part. I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna be adding all of the texturing. So we're gonna add some andesite, some cobble, some mossy, some bushes up here. On the top, I'm gonna be adding all of uh, the ashy-like blocks. So I'm gonna bring in uh, some uh, basalt, maybe some blackstone. Uh, it's gonna look cool. We got this whole space down here and it's pretty well lit. I don't don't see any bad guys spawning uh it's working perfectly we got all the golems uh totally dying also i noticed on this side we had some golems that were spawning uh because we had this side a little bit too close to the chamber so i started to shave it off a little bit and expand it on the other side and that prevented all the spawns from then on in and so i'm thinking uh, we're pretty good to go. I got no idea what to do down there yet. Uh, we'll figure that out when we get there uh, I am gonna probably cover up this part over here and maybe do a little bit of a fog effect So it looks like there's actual lava in there. I don't think I really want to put any lava We might just play around with maybe some shroom lights or something like that and some glass here on the top uh, Maybe add some steam with some campfire blocks. That might be a really cool thing to show that it's still uh, It's dormant, but you know stuff happening on the bottom and then underneath I might do some cool stuff But for right now the next stage is bringing in those texture blocks and let's see if we can make it look a little bit more uh, realistic. I think we could do it. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so cool. It is time, big reveal time. I've been hard at work on this volcano and I'm letting you know right now, I am super proud of this thing for being the first, uh, literally the first mountain I've ever done. Technically it's a mountain, it's a volcano, it's a mountain, it's a volcano inside the mountain, but technically it's the first time I've really done this. So a big old shout out to my friend Fuep who gave me some inspiration. He even gave me some tips and tricks uh, live while I was asking him, hey, is this looking all right? And he said, sausage is looking good. So you know what? As long as Fuep is happy, I'm happy and I hope you guys are happy too. So get 
get ready. Let's take a quick little flip and I'll show you guys. And maybe at the end we'll do another little cinematic in shaders. I need to do it. You gotta see this. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go. Bam! There it is! Look at that! Oh, it's looking so good! I still gotta do a bunch of stuff on the other side, well, down here. Uh, but I'm gonna put a bunch of pirate-like stuff there. Let me know what you guys would like to see down in that corner. But, uh, look at this. This took way too long. <laughs> this looks really good! On the top, we got some blackstone, I got some magma blocks. I also got a little bit of acacia in there, and some cyan terracotta. And we got some campfire blocks in there, too. I put some hay bells underneath, so the poofs go up a little taller. But what do you guys think oh it's so so cool a, a lot of greenery there so you can tell it's been dormant for a very long time so we got some vines in there we got some bamboo we got some bushes in there also some sweet berries oh let's let's go down there I'm running out of rockets, too. I, I'm going to have to make that uh, gunpowder farm very, very soon around here somewhere. I don't know where, but maybe in that island. I don't know. We'll see. But check this out. There it goes from this angle. There it is. Look how nice. Look at the different color bushes down there. We got the, uh, so many bushes. It looks so good. And there it is from this side. This is the angle. You get to see all the cool builds in the background, plus this right here. And then watch this. We also got a little entrance. So right down this way, got a little bit of a ruin right here. So kind of like the Amazon rainforest kind of ruin uh stuff you see like a jungle temple or something so i got that nice look to it i might add some more details like that maybe more jungleified it is that a word i don't know what it is now but right here we got all the vines we got the sweet berries we got the bushes little uh hanging light here on the top palm trees on each side and a tiny little dock area here so you can come on in uh but also i replaced this with an iron door and so just in case we might have some zombies coming through i don't want to be very very safe because i'm going to be afk in here for the farm too it is very ugly there's just torch spam everywhere but you know what for right now i think it's looking okay now i made a little bunker down here so uh, for me to afk safely and and this is pretty much it <laughs> so even the bunker looks pretty cool right uh this little hidden bunker right here we can just close this i can afk in here uh i'm gonna do it overnight and i'm gonna let you know how good the drops are but for right now I think we're done. <laughs> we're done with this build right here. I can't really build anything above this though because then uh, golems will start spawning and I don't want that to happen, okay? Uh, I've made sure that golems are not spawning outside of this area so it is working really, really good. And then watch this. You wanna see what the loot is, right? So the whole time I've been working here in this area, this has been working lovely. We had a couple hiccups every once in a while. We got some spawns on the outside, but you know, I made sure uh, we got those fixed up. So for right now, bang, bang, bang. Look at that. And this is double. We have this. Oh, beautiful. So much iron. I'm not going to need more than that. Trust me. But you know what? I'm going to try to fill it all the way to the tippy top. Also, on the outside here, we ah, no, no, you scare me. Why you scare me like that? Oh my God. I wasn't ready for that. Please get out of here. Sheesh. Oh, it's a creeper. We got creepers here. I try to light this up as best as I can, but uh, you know what? Um, I need to add more light. I kind of have them hidden here with some carpet uh, for right now. But you know what? I'm, I'll make this a little bit better uh, prepared so mobs don't spawn here. But there it is as uh, the thunder and the lightning is coming. Hopefully, I don't get struck by lightning and get killed. But you know what? I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. You know what? You guys have been amazing. Thank you all so much for all the support on the series. And I can't wait for the next episode. We're going to keep expanding this island and add a bunch of more, uh, a bunch more stuff. But <laughs> this is coming. Oh, my God. Seriously? Hold on a minute. Before we go, I'm going to try to get a trident. I'm, uh, I'm going to get a trident. Come on. Come and get me. Come and get me. I'm going to try to get this trident. Oh. Did we? <gasps> we got oh, what the luck? What kind of luck is this? <laughs> we gotta try it to end off the episode. You know what? Let me hide before we get hit by lightning. What are the odds ending off this episode with a trident? Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and make this trident awesome. I'm gonna put mending. I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff on it. I'm gonna put channeling. Oh, I can't wait. But you know what? I'm out of here for now. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Oh, man. Look at this. That has to be good luck.